What's up everyone, welcome to Sir Hans Reviews, my name is Mark and in this video we are going to discuss the latest Season 7 teaser images courtesy of Entertainment Weekly. Now these pictures literally just went up about 15 minutes ago, so this video is going to be unedited, unscripted, and there might be a few swear words. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and begin! Alright, so first up is Arya. Now I'm not exactly sure where she is in this picture. Taking a guess, I would say she's either just leaving Riverrun or she's just entered the gates to Winterfell. I don't think it's the second option because if it were Winterfell, we would see something like snow in the background and maybe she would have her hood on because obviously she would be a lot further north than Riverrun, so it would be a lot colder outside. But another reason why I don't want to say it's Winterfell is also because she's still, you know, she looks like she's mounting up as almost like she's about to embark on the journey. You know what I mean? She's got her sleeping bag with her. She looks like she's actually wearing a bit of chainmail underneath that. So if that's the case, that's fucking awesome because we're going to see a warrior version of Arya. She, not only is she, you know, well into making her way on her list and she's technically a faceless man, but she's also wearing armor like traditional Westerosi knights. She's got some chainmail going on there. So let me know what you guys think down in the comment section, but I'm going to say this is right when Arya embarks on her journey home. Next up is Brienne, and there's not too, too much to say about this picture. She's just smiling at the camera and cheesing, and it looks like, judging by the background, you know, she's having her armor mended by who's probably, like, the costume designer or something, um, but it looks like, I want to say, judging by the brickwork in the background and this little banner up here and the woodwork up top, it looks kind of freshly built. I'm going to say it's Winterfell. You know, they've obviously had time to rebuild it after the Battle of Winterfell when the interior of Winterfell actually didn't get that destroyed. Um, it was just when one Wegdar one one broke down the door. That's his name in the books. When he broke down the door, and then he slapped, you know, slapped up a few people, and then he got pumped full of arrows before he could really do too much damage to the inside of uh, Winterfell. But this also applies to when Ramsay rebuilt it, from when they sieged it, or when they took it from Theon. So this. I'm going to say that in this picture, there's not too much really to be said about, but I think Brienne has made it back to Winterfell, and that's actually where she is in this image, because if you look right behind her, there's Sansa and Littlefinger. I kind of left that part at the, at the beginning, but yeah, if you guys didn't notice, that is Sansa's braids right above her, and then there's Littlefinger in the background. We know Littlefinger's gray mark on the side of his head, which, uh, in my opinion, that's kind of like a telltale sign that... Uh, yeah, that's Littlefinger. And that's definitely Sansa behind her as well. We can tell by the red hair and the way that it's braided. Next up is Jamie and Cersei. Now, if you look at the lower right-hand corner, you can see what we'll actually see on the show, which is a close-up of them staring at someone. So I'm going to go ahead and predict this is when Euron first shows up and makes his case before we see Danny's fleet on the horizon. He's going to go and meet them, and they're probably going to battle at sea. But I think that's, that's what this is. I think Euron has showed up and he's attempting to make an alliance with Cersei because I honestly don't see anyone really coming into King's Landing to try to make, you know, make an alliance or anyone really other than Euron. You know, no one would really be seeing them. All the poor people who are starving in the city are not going to be like, hey, let's go talk to Lannisters. We know how well they, you know, we know how good people they are. Next up is probably my favorite image Obviously, you guys know I'm House Targaryen here. You could tell by my intro if you didn't know. But Daenerys is on the back of 757 size Drogon. And if you notice in the background, we actually see some Dothraki fighting what looks to be knighted uh, knights wearing suits of armor, which we know are telltale signs of Westeros. She said that, you know, when Daenerys' speech the last time she was on her dragon back in season six when she was giving a speech to her Kalasar once they were about halfway back to Marine, she actually told them, are you going to kill the plated knight armors or the uh, plate armored knights of Westeros? Are you going to kill them for me? And they said yes. So that would be insane if that's what's going on. Now, I think this image is actually from an episode because we see that the CGI is already there. We see fire in the background. We see Drogon is full on size. He's not just like a tennis ball with a string and a broom handle or some shit. This is is probably from, let's say, episode number two. If you guys think this is an, a legit image and not just like art that they gave to Entertainment Weekly to let them know, you know, this is how big Drogon's gonna be. If you guys think this is from one of the first episodes of the season, please comment down below because I believe it is. And you can also tell that this is definitely an aged Drogon because look at the size of his horns on the side of his head. You can see, you know, Back before, prior to this season, they were not that long. So they're trying to let us know that the dragons are still growing. And according to rumors, not really rumors, these were actual producers on the show that said Drogon was going to be the size of a 757 airplane this season. 
Next up, we have Jon Snow, and he's actually looking back at uh, Sansa, Littlefinger, and Brienne because he's leaving Winterfell. We can tell this is Winterfell. We see Stark soldiers to the right of him. We see a hooded figure walking in front of him, probably because it's freezing up north. Winter has come. We saw the White Ravens were released last season. And Jon Snow is likely headed off to... He's actually given up what looks to be like a little peace sign. You know, I might be mistaken, but if, uh, if I'm not, it looks like if you zoom in on his hand over here, you can see that he is given a peace sign, so he's probably waving goodbye to Sansa, Littlefinger, and Brienne. I want to say that he's making his way to Dragonstone to go meet with Daenerys, but I'm not exactly sure. If you guys know where Jon is headed, please comment down in that comment section. Next up is Sansa and Littlefinger, and there's not too, too much to be said there because we know Brienne will shortly be joining them, and they're waving goodbye to Sansa. To, to John, I think John definitely left Sansa in charge of Winterfell. I thought that he would be sending her to the Vale, but I guess not. I want to know what happened with the Knights of the Vale. The Knights of the Vale, John probably took some of them with him, and the rest of them probably stayed at Winterfell with Sansa. Although, come to think about it, the I'm going to actually take that back. I think that all of the Knights of the Vale are with Sansa at Winterfell, and that's part of the reason why John it feels okay to leave her there. He's probably taking a small battalion of troops with him to go parlay with Daenerys. Next up... And last but not least is Tormund. And it looks like he's looking at Brienne through the battlements. Maybe he's, I think Tormund is definitely going to leave with Jon to, uh, you know, obviously fight the war for the Dawn. But I don't know if Jon would take him with her to go meet someone like Queen Daenerys. You know what I mean? He is a wildling. He probably is, he's probably one of the most trusted people in Jon's company that Jon trusts. So, of course, he's going to leave him back at Winterfell to kind of look things over. And also, it would probably make a better impression if he doesn't bring you know, someone super savage to go meet someone who's the queen of the savages. See, that's what you do when you get these unscripted videos. You start contradicting yourself. But I think Jon Snow will leave Tormund at the castle to look over Sansa because Littlefinger's still there. It Would it not be insane if Tormund's the one who actually ends Littlefinger's life? That would be nuts. And the reason why I know this is Winterfell, for one, because there's snow on the ground. For two, if you look ob over in the hallway on the left-hand side, you could actually see a wolf emblem right there, which means that they're at home in Winterfell. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, the like goal will be 150. My name's Mark, and this has been Sir Hunt's Reviews. If you like to enter my contest for my um, for this Daenerys Dark Horse figurine, for once I hit 10k subscribers here on YouTube, all you have to do is to enter that contest is like this video, comment down below, and hop on Twitter and Instagram and follow me. My name's Mark once again, and this has been Sir Hunt's coming to you with the latest, greatest, and breaking news reviews.